there is a village in West Africa where man and beast live side by side in perfect harmony. Prosper Kabore is no ordinary man. He is the keeper of the sacred crocodiles of Bazule and it is up to him to make sure the legend continues. Crocodile can be really dangerous. The following program contains interactions with dangerous animals performed by qualified professionals. Under no circumstances attempt what you are about to see. Prosper Kabore is no ordinary man with no ordinary job. He plays a key role in his community. It is his job to keep a very delicate harmony in place, a harmony between people and animals that has endured for centuries. He is the keeper of the sacred crocodiles of Bazule, and it is up to him to make sure the legend continues. Bazule village in Burkina Faso is a sprawling lakeside village which has become world famous for a unique tradition. It is here that many generations of humans have lived side by side with wild crocodiles. Prosper was born into this tradition and it is his job as head crocodile guide to safeguard this unique relationship between the villagers and one of the most feared predators on the planet. The crocodiles of Bajule are sacred because it's the totem of the village. The totem means that it's the ancestors of the village. C'est les ancêtres du village, parce qu'ils ont sauvé les villageois, donc c'est ça qu'ils sont sacrés. Crocodiles have remained virtually unchanged for over 200 million years. They are usually feared and avoided at all costs by humans and animals alike. In Africa, they are estimated to kill up to 200 people per year and can eat up to half their body weight in one meal. But to the people of Bazule, they are sacred creatures that are treated with reverence rather than fear. Je n'ai jamais eu peur. Si ils sont habitués aux gens, c'est comme les humains. Nous, ici, nous les considérons comme les humains. As the head crocodile guide, it is Prosper's duty to hand down the legend to the next generation and educate both locals and tourists about the huge significance of the crocodiles in this community. The crocodiles came from the sky by a big rain. So at this moment, the population of Bazoulé suffered from the lack of water. There was no water to drink. Les femmes sont obligées d'aller plus de 40 km pour approvisionner l'eau, pour chercher l'eau. Mais les crocodiles cro 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 aussi vivaient à part. Donc maintenant, chez moi, il n'y avait pas la cohabitation entre les crocodiles et les habitants. Quand ils ont trouvé l'eau, il y a une femme qui était à la recherche du bois et elle est passée, elle est passée dans le nid des crocodiles et elle a vu que dans le nid des crocodiles, il y a de l'eau. Elle est revenue sur le cercle, informer le cercle. Le cercle a dit donner l'autorisation à toute femme qui a besoin d'eau et n'a qu'à aller dans les nids de crocodile pour puiser. Et à ce partir de ce jour, les femmes partent là-bas pour enlever l'eau et les crocodiles ne leur font pas de mal. Et comme ça, les gens ont dit comme c'est ainsi, les crocodiles ont sauvé les villageois. In Bazoule, when a child is born, he or she is taught to be humble kind and respectful. They are constantly reminded that the life they enjoy today is as a result of the kindness and compassion shown to their earliest ancestors.
kindness and help that was provided by the most unlikely of animals, the crocodile. When a, a crocodile dies, he's buried as a human being. And uh, it is also said that quite often, when one of uh, the oldest crocodile, when he dies, it's a sign that something is going to happen in the village. Uh, maybe the, one of the elders of the village will also pass away. So you can see a, a direct co a connection between the life of the crocodile and uh, the community people. The community of Bazule is spread out along the shores of the lake, and there are some 200 crocodiles that live in these waters. Prosper's main responsibility is to make sure that the peace and harmony between his people and the crocodiles is maintained, and to report back to the chief of the village on the well-being of both. Donc ma responsabilité est que tout ce qui se passe au niveau du site ici, au niveau de la mare ici, c'est moi qui responsabilise. Même les enfants qui sont en train de se baigner dans, dans la mare, il n'y a pas de problème, c'est moi qui les responsable. Vous voyez que le chef n'a pas le temps de venir. Il a une responsabilité très chargée avec le village. Donc c'est moi qui responsabilise. Et s'il y a quelque chose, qui est quelque chose, je parle les rendre compte. Les rendre compte. Crocodiles are incredibly strong, agile, and aggressive. They are merciless killers, and it's in their nature to be brutal. Yet, under the watchful eyes of Prosper and many crocodile guides before him, there has never been a crocodile attack in Bazule. A unique understanding seems to exist between man and beast in this small corner of West Africa. Et donc, les crocodiles sont pleureux jusqu'à un mois. Jusqu'à un mois. Donc maintenant, et, et le, on a entendu le cri et on est parti dire ça au chef. Le chef a dit comme c'est ainsi, les enfants viennent dans le rang dans la mare pour enlever les nénuphars. J'espère que vous finissez que vous connaissez les nénuphars. Donc, ils ont dit d'interdire aux enfants de ne plus se de, de ne plus rentrer pour enlever les nénuphars. Donc, il y a un soir, il y a un enfant qui s'est levé. Et il est, en ce moment, nous, nous fermons pour partir. Il s'est levé, il est rentré dans l'eau le, dans, 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 dans pour enlever les nénuphars. Donc, du coup, quand il est rentré, il s'est noyé. Le lendemain, les crocodiles commencent à pleurer, pleurer, pleurer. On a, on a constaté qu'il y a quelqu'un qui s'est noyé dans le, dans le lac. Donc, on a, on a essayé de rentrer pour sauver le, le corps, on n'a pas pu. On est allé au marché, informer beaucoup de gens pour qu'ils viennent nous, nous, nous aider à, à faire sortir le corps. On n'a pas pu. C'est vers 17h, à ce moment, il y avait plein de gens que les, on voyait les crocodiles qui poussaient le corps jusqu'à sortir de voir. Donc, euh, et il est poussé, sorti, on l'a appelé au commissariat, la police est venue faire le constat, tout que, en fait, il est venu lui-même. Donc, euh, il était en, on a pris là, le corps entier derrière la digue. Donc, ouais. Seeing the, the children and the people around, or even in the pond, playing or fishing, with the crocodiles just uh, near them was really fascinating. Uh, for me, actually, I thought that uh, at any time they can be addressed by the crocodile. It was really fascinating for me. 
and then it gives you it gives you a sense that these animals are part of the community. In fact, without the unique trust which has developed between men and crocodiles in Bazule, the community would not exist. The villagers need water from the lake in order to survive, to drink and cook and grow their crops. The crocodiles allow them to share the water and the villagers allow the crocodiles to share their land. And so the circle of life continues unhindered. It is hard work living off the land, and water is the lifeblood of this community. Prosper visits the outlying villagers and has regular discussions with local farmers to ensure that their livestock are kept safely out of reach of the crocodiles to avoid potential conflict. That <laughs> Nowadays, the crocodiles of Bazule have become a major tourist attraction in Burkina Faso and people visit them from all over the world. Je suis content là où je suis. Avant, les, les gens ne connaissaient pas la valeur d'un guide. Mais maintenant, les, les gens commencent à comprendre. Le guide, c'est comme un ambassadeur. Et le matin, et, et, voilà, il commence à... à, 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 à Prosper carefully explains the feeding ritual and safety regulations to the tourists so that they know what to expect before their interaction with the crocodiles. He also educates them about the natural feeding and hunting methods of crocodiles in the wild and points out their distribution throughout Africa. When he is satisfied that they are fully briefed, he leads them down to the river to meet the ancient reptiles. Donc quand les touristes arrivent, premièrement, quand les touristes arrivent premièrement, on les, on les accueille, soyez les bienvenus et on les montre les, les conditions d'ici. Et après les conditions, on les ramène là où ils, à la caisse, ils vont payer. Après ça, la, après ça maintenant, on les ramène au niveau, de, au niveau des crocodiles. On les fait s'asseoir là-dessus, on peut les faire courir, on peut les faire sauter. Time in Burkina Faso is busier with tourists than right now during the Fespaco Film Festival. Burkina Faso is one of the pioneers of cinema and film production in Africa. Long before other African countries jumped onto the filmmaking bandwagon, 
Burkina Faso was already making news headlines in the global film industry. The Fespaco Film Festival has been hosted in Burkina Faso for 42 years. Every year, film enthusiasts and practitioners swarm into town from all over the world. It's a huge boost in tourist activity, and one of the highlights for anyone visiting Burkina Faso is a trip to see the crocodiles. Fespaco becoming bigger means that we, will ha we are having more people coming down to Fespaco, and at the same time, more people out of this number of people coming down here will be visiting Bazule, which also is generating some uh, revenue. The festival also organized some tours to Bazule and to other uh, sites. If a visitor is interested in coming to Fespaco, if he or she knows that by coming to Fespaco, it will give her, is he or they are having interest in the crocodiles, that this could be an opportunity. So I would say both are interrelated. Many of the tourists have never encountered a crocodile in the wild and have never witnessed their speed and agility in real life. Not to mention the unique experience of seeing a person actually sitting astride a predator that has 66 teeth and can weigh up to 730 kilograms. Prosper's had a huge honor bestowed upon him as the head guide in Bazule, and he hopes to be the best ambassador he can possibly be, to take the legend into the future. Prosper often reflects on this while spending quiet time communing with the crocodiles at the lake. Part of the tourist attraction is the ritual of sacrificing chickens to the crocodiles, and each tourist is required to bring an offering when visiting. Les poulets, c'est spécialement les poulets d'ici, les poulets qui se comptent paye au niveau du guichet. Même si tu amènes ton poulet ailleurs, nous on prend ton poulet, eux on en prend pas, par pas nos poulets. Donc c'est pas, c'est pas formidable que tu amènes ton poulet pour donner au crocodile. Non, tu amènes ton poulet, nous on prend ton poulet et on et on donne notre poulet.
première période, le poulet. Et après ça, on l'amène le poulet. Et deuxième cas, c'est le sacrifice. Quand tu, par exemple, quand tu, quand, quand tu, tu payes un poulet, ça veut dire que c'est considéré comme tu es venu faire un sacrifice avec le crocodile. C'est la, la bénédiction. Ah, mais je ne suis pas. In various parts of Africa, crocodiles will go months between meals. So is it possible that they're not eating people simply because they're not hungry? Prosper believes that the crocodiles represent their ancestors and therefore will not harm anyone in the village. During the peak season, Prosper will take as many as 15 groups of tourists per day to see the crocodiles. Visitors get to touch, pet, and even sit on the backs of these ferocious creatures while the crocodiles patiently accept the interaction. Ça le ferait plaisir quand les touristes touchent les crocodiles et même monter là-dessus. Mais immédiatement, quand ils arrivent ici, on les sait qu'ils montent et qu'ils puissent qu'ils puissent s'asseoir. Donc quand ils arrivent, ça le ferait plaisir de s'asseoir de les tousser, de même de les caresser. Oui. Tu veux? Donc moi je pense que en tout cas c'est un truc qui, qui est vraiment bien, c'est un truc qui est impressionnant à, à tous les touristes. If you tell somebody that you've been to a place where you, you have crocodiles which are sacred, and some of the people will even ask you, what do you mean by sacred? They don't they don't assault people, they don't attack people. And sometimes uh, some of the foreigners can hardly believe that these are actually sacred animals. Having a picture with uh, when you're holding the tail, and this is a testimony that you've been there and that this is uh, actually the reality. This is a fact. For me, crocodiles were not to play with. And actually coming closer to these uh, crocodiles was quite fascinating. And it took me a lot of guts to get closer to this crocodile. Even though the board was just close to us, the guide was close to us, telling us, no, don't be afraid, but I was still, you know, because your first encounter with, uh, with such a big uh, reptile is uh, really scary. Monsieur, et les gens montent sur le dos de crocodile. Si, par exemple, si quelqu'un vient ici, on lui dit que le crocodile, on, on, peut, on peut le tousser, on peut le on monter sur le dos. Les gens disent non, que c'est faux. Mais nous, on le fait tout pour que possible que tu montes sur le dos de crocodile. Ça veut dire qu'il y, y a quelque chose, non, rien. Mais quand tu viens, c'est pour attirer beaucoup de gens, pour que les gens savent que, au niveau des. En tout cas, on dit que l'animal est toujours l'animal, mais les crocodiles d'ici sont respectés comme les humains. Nous, on les respecte très bien et en tout cas, il n'y a pas du mal. Ils ne font pas du mal à quelqu'un. Et si tu montes sur le dos de crocodile, tu, en fait, au moins quand même, tu le demandes dans ton cœur tout ce que tu veux. Si ça y était seulement, tu reviens les remercier. Nous, on a eu plusieurs personnes qui montaient sur le dos de crocodile et après, elles sont revenues les remercier. C'est une uh, bonne expérience. Une bonne expérience, une nouvelle expérience pour moi. Pour moi, un crocodile peut être vraiment really dangereux. But in fact, uh, here they are all quiet and relaxed, so that's fine, that's fun. Just a nice experience. Very exciting for uh, our travel in, uh, in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But Prosper's favorite visitors are children. Wherever they come from, they are the future generation who Prosper can inspire to respect nature and whom he can send home seeing crocodiles from a very different perspective. Centuries have passed, and still, the crocodiles play a vital role in the village of Bazule. The benefit of the population of Bazule is that for the crocodiles, in the world entire, everyone knows the name of the name of Bazule. In addition, the revenue that we have in the village of the village C'est ça fait aussi vivre le village parce qu'on on utilise ça pour que pendant la famine où les gens souffrent de la faim, on enlève cette une billet, une somme pour payer des sacs de, de, de maïs pour distribuer les villageois qui leur pierre ou leur mère est pauvre, c'est nous qui les, qui les paye à l'école. En plus, au niveau de la santé, ceux qui n'ont pas, qui, qui n'ont pas l'argent pour payer euh, en fait, des certains médicaments, on, si tu es malade. In this way, the children of the village grow up not only respecting their crocodile neighbors, but benefiting from the relationship as well. They are the next generation who will uphold the legend of the crocodiles of Bazule. Just as the sun sets on Bazule village every evening, the unique partnership continues to exist between humans and the sacred crocodiles of Bazule.